Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about a quick issue that um, I've that just happened to me actually. Um, I know a lot of people are having the same issue. So essentially, I um, on Google AdSense, I got a little red bar at the top that says the number of ads that you can show has been temporarily uh, limited. Um, and I was confused, I was like, why is this happening? And I actually, like a day or so before, um, I, I noticed that there was a spike of revenue. Um, I think like I got $15 in one day, which is abnormal for me. Um, and I didn't really think about it. But um, we're going to go into why this happened, um, how you can fix it, and how to prevent it in the future um, in this video. So I hope you enjoy. Um, so once I clicked on the policy, it kind of looked like this. I found this picture online. Um, it kind of just says that they're going to manually have someone check it. Um, and hopefully it will be resolved. Um, and basically they're saying that um, ensure that you have no bot traffic um, that is getting views artificially or clicks artificially. And um, I personally did not know of any such thing on my website, so I was, I was just assuming that it would be automatically fixed. But after waiting like two or three weeks, this still wasn't fixed, so I decided to do some more research to figure out how this would be um, fixed. So. Um, after like a quick Google search of this, you see like this massive amount of people are also having the same issue. And it's actually quite a relatively recent issue. I'm recording this in January 2020 and like the first um, occurrences of this are in September 2019. So I think um, previously when this kind of issue happened, um, they would just suspend your account entirely and you would stop being able to use AdSense. But now they're being a bit... Um, less um, harsh with the punishments, but it's still not allowing me to earn revenue, so I want to, wanted to fix it. So after doing some more research into the AdSense program policies, I figured out why I think that they're blocking us. Um, right here in the AdSense policy, it says you are encouraging clicks or views um, through non-Google search stuff. So basically, um, I think what happened for me personally is um, my website had a spike of attention on Twitter, and then I think I got a lot of revenue in one day, but that did not um, actually uh, come from Google search, and therefore I got a lot of money, but um, they thought I was uh, uh, spamming my site with bots to get free money, so they... Um, they, they put this restriction on my account. And I think it's pretty stupid, in my opinion, that they uh, don't allow you to use social media to encourage views or clicks, because how else are you supposed to uh, advertise your website? But nevertheless, these are their policies, and we can't do much about it. So um, I'm just going to go over how we can solve this issue so you can start earning money once again. Um, essentially, what I did is, so let's go to um, my example project. And um, so I just made an example project and I have an as.txt and I have an index.html. So this would represent your project. So if we um, open it up and we open like the index.html, you would normally have your ads. So what you would do first is you would delete the entire ads, all of them from your project, 100% of them, and delete them from your project and then push it to live so you won't have ads on your website. And this won't really impact your revenue at all if you have this issue because I noticed my revenue was around one or two cents for the total of three weeks so um, this will this will hopefully be resolved um, soon and then you'll be able to put the ads back so just um, make a backup copy of your project um, so you remember where the ads were placed um, so first gonna go and delete all the ads make sure you delete every single one then also go ahead and completely delete the ads.txt um, so even delete the ads.txt file itself. So if we like rm like ads.txt or whatever, however you do it, um, that's step two. And then step three is going to be going to AdSense, going to your ads, and manually deleting every single one, uh, every single one of your ads. So go, um, oops, go to your um, buy ad unit and then go ahead and click um, archive or delete if there's a delete button and just delete every single one that you have. Um, so why I'm saying this is because basically they're, they, uh, I believe AdSense is monitoring your traffic for the time while you're under review and I don't think anything is really done about it um, until they notice that you, your traffic is normal. Um, so I think if you delete every single ad and you just um, completely basically remove your site from AdSense for a few days, it will get resolved. And this is, what ha this is what I did and it actually worked perfectly. So I waited around a week or two weeks 
and it was completely fixed. Um, the error went away. The, there was another error though that said, please add uh, your ads.txt to your site, otherwise your revenue will be uh, significantly impacted. So make sure you just re-add uh, your ads.txt once the notification goes away, and then you'll be all set. Um, there is a period in between when it's um, not um, uh, when uh, they're still under review and there will be there will be two warnings here one says your revenue will be significantly impacted because you don't have an um, ads.txt there will also be like an arrow right here for a second warning and th that second warning will still be the uh, um, the, the uh, number of ads you can show has been temporarily limited um, so make sure that both of them um, aren't there. Only The only one that should be there is um, adding the ads.txt. So once you see only that one warning, then you know that it's been fixed and you can go back to um, uh, putting your ads back on the website. So the only downside to this, once you have um, put your uh, once you have gotten this resolved, then you'll have to re-add your ads to the website, but using different ad units. So you're going to have to go back to your ads and create brand new ad units um, with the same configuration. You're going to have to replace your ads.txt uh, file, and you're going to have to re-add the code with different, um, like, publisher ID and everything. Um, so whatever code they give you when you recreate the ad, use that. Don't use the old code. Um, and then... So that's how you uh, start earning revenue again, and this just happened for me, so I'm pretty sure it works. And then um, you just have to be patient and, and let it review. The only thing that um, I, I want to advise is that you try not to have this happen again. So I took some steps to make sure this didn't happen again by removing my website from my Twitter account um, in order to not um, have a spike um, increase on accident one day um, in hopes that this might not happen again. And if it does happen again, then it might be uh, more consequential than before because they notice it's happened a second time. So I would just strongly advise that you do precautions to make sure that you don't get artificial um, uh, traffic to your website. Um, that's not through Google, Google search. Um, I hope that helped. Um, please um, go ahead and leave any comments if you had any questions or concerns, but please be patient before you leave any questions about like, why isn't it working? Um, it, it took one or two weeks for me, but it might take longer for you. So it depends on um, Google. They, they honestly have pretty bad support service, so I wouldn't expect any, um, any consistency with them. So good luck, <clears throat> and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.